So this video was inspired by Live Each Day, Corey, Mr. Safety. They made a video called, We're Just Gonna Be Us. We're not gonna listen to haters. We're not gonna do what you say in the comments. And if you call our videos clickbait, so what? Well, if you don't like the word clickbait, and you don't want people using the word clickbait, block it. Block that word. And then people can't say it in your, in your video or in your comments. I don't like the word clickbait either. Because I don't watch people because of the titles in their videos. I watch videos because I like the content. And I like who the person is that I sub to. Yeah, I'll admit, I won't click really fast or go to the video fast enough if it's somebody I don't, like I watch every day, but I was like, they can wait, um, CTFXC is more important. Because I would. Because I don't care what title Charles Trippy puts on his channels, I watch them because I like his content. And half the time, when I see the word CTFXC, has uploaded a video, I click on it right away, then I read the title and go, oh, interesting. But I really don't care about titles. Um, he made one called, we're done. People in the comments are like, oh, you scared me, has kink paint because I thought you were going to quit YouTube. No, that's not what it meant. I didn't get scared. I knew it wasn't, they weren't going to quit YouTube. I knew you're done doesn't mean that. It could have been like, we're done living here. Or, we're done with this freaking weather and it's getting annoying. So we're going to go take a trip away from the freaking weather. You know, it, you're done could mean thousands of things. It doesn't have to mean one thing, which is quitting YouTube. And yes, people do use clickbait where they say, I might be quitting YouTube, question mark, or quitting YouTube, question mark. And y'all are like, no, 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 don't quit YouTube. But they're not quitting, they're just venting about stuff and situations going on. And because of the algorithm on YouTube, you have to have clickbaity titles. And I agree with Corey about what clickbait is. Some people here don't know what clickbait is. People think that clickbait is where they make a title and you think one thing about the title, but then when you listen to the video, it's not exactly what you thought it was, so you thought it was clickbait. No. Real clickbait, as Corey would explain, is... Do, 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 is... When you say, I'm pregnant, and the video has nothing to do with pregnancy at all. There's nothing to do with pregnant. There is nothing to do with anything to do with babies. It's just them in the kitchen making dinner. Now, if he says, now, if she said, after making that dinner, Oh man, I'm so full, it makes me feel pregnant. That's not clickbait, because she said it. That's the reason why they put it as a title, because she said it. Or, that's why I, I'm not really good at titling my videos, but I try to make it in such a way that makes you go, huh? Like one of my videos, I can't remember, but it was something to do with Pete. Pizza. Oh yeah, pink pizza. I said, pink pizza. And they're like, someone goes, why did you clickbait and say pink pizza? I don't see any pink in a pizza. And I said, then you don't get the video. Because I talk about pink. And I show you pizza. Just because I call it pink pizza does not mean it's pizza that's pink. So technically I didn't clickbait. I just basically shifted words together like you do when you ship couples that you wish were together but ain't together. So, yeah. That's what I do. 
So anyways, I hope this video teaches you a lesson. Um, my advice to everyone that's making YouTube videos is just be yourself. Do what you want to do in your videos. Don't really, like, don't be like, oh, this channel is only about Legos. I have to talk about just Legos. Nothing but Legos. If I show a Minecraft video, oh my god, people are going to think I'm quitting making Legos for Minecraft when it's just one video. Like, get over yourself. Don't just make your video about one thing. Make it about multiple things. That's why my channel is called Y Cats Vlogs. Because I can vlog about anything I want, any random thing. I can show anything. My channel is about 50 million different things. And it's okay that it's about 50 million things. And that I talk about 50 million different genres and things in my videos because hey I, you guys won't complain about well are you quitting because you're doing this type of video instead of this type of video that's why it's random that's why no one can complain and that's why I think I keep telling my friend who does Lego who is tired of doing Lego but I'm trying to convince him because I convinced him to upload his first Lego video on YouTube, so I'm, and so I kind of made him popular, sort of, and now I'm trying to get him to push and do how-to Minecraft videos, uh, because that's what he's interested in, that's what he wants to do right now, and I'm like, just do it, because if they don't like it, tough crap, you do what you want to do, it's your channel, you do what you want to do. Grazer10 made a deep end video that said that he made a Fortnite video and he got so much hate for it. Because people thought, oh no, you're on the Fortnite bandwagon. You're going to be making, you're changing your channel to Fortnite. You're going to stop making Minecraft. And he's like, no. I, I'm not making this channel specifically Minecraft anymore. I will upload different games on this channel. Because I don't want to just make Minecraft and get bored with it. I gotta do other things too. And I agree. If you're gonna make it a gaming channel, play all sorts of different games. Like on my channel, I do Lego. I do vlogging. I do cooking hour videos where I cook. I do shopping videos. Do review videos. I do uh, gaming videos as well. I do all sorts of those type of things. So, don't just pick one thing for your channel. Yes, if all you upload so far is the one thing so far, that's fine. But you need it when you make an intro, like, an intro video to yourself for your channel, you should be like, hey, this is me. I may, it may seem like I'm uploading one type of videos, but I'm just going to upload whatever I want. Yeah, and, if, and, and if it's just the one thing for now, and then if I get sick of that and want to upload something else, I'm going to do that. And if you don't like it, don't sub to me. But what you should do is make a playlist of all your videos in different categories so that if your fans want to, they can sub to the playlist. And then every time you put a video in the playlist, they will get a notification. And it works just like that. You guys should try that out and do that. Make a playlist with all your different videos. But I wouldn't delete them. I wouldn't... I, I My friend's like, I'm just going to take them down. I'm like, I'm just going to private them and take them, you know, because... No, you worked hard on your videos. You took the time to make the videos, to edit them, and to put them up. Why take them down? You might find somebody years later that finds your Lego video content and go, Oh, cool, this is a Lego dude. I'm going to watch his Lego. And then they find out, wait, he stopped doing Lego to do Minecraft? That's cool. I'll watch it, you know. Or you stop doing Lego to do... Or you stop being family friendly to being cussing now. And, you, and your fans like, oh, who cares? You just don't do that. I don't do that with my videos. I only do that with the ones that are 
I think they're shitty and I put them unlisted. They're still on a playlist. If you go to a playlist and you find them, boom, they're there. And I have always asked you guys, I'm going to ask you again, do you want to see a playlist of my videos? If you do, tell me which playlist you that you're interested in and I will make a playlist of that. If you like all my cooking hour videos, I'll make a playlist of that. If you like all my shopping videos, all my review videos, I'll make a playlist putting them all in there, even the unlisted ones. That way, you guys can see them. But remember, if I get 30 or more views, they stay public. If I get 30 or less, sorry, they go unlisted and you have to find them in a playlist. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. I'm Boney and Boney. Now leave me alone. -y. And if you want to know where that outro is from, it's from a 90s show called Wienersville. Don't let people judge you on what devices you have. If you want to have a flip phone, have a flip phone. If you want to have an iPhone, have an iPhone. I don't... And they're not called smartphones anymore. They're called iPhones. And what's the point of me getting an iPhone if all I'm going to use it for is to call to tell my mom, Hey, I'm ready to be picked up. Or have my brother call me and say, Hey, I need to bring my son over for you to babysit. That's all I use my phone for. I don't see the point in having a fancy, expensive phone for all the bells and whistles that I will not use it for. My brother has an iPhone. And he doesn't even use the internet on it. So, what's the point? If I'm happy with the flip phone and it's easy to use, I don't care. Don't judge me. So, did you ever, ever hear the story? Did I ever tell you guys the story of when I got lost in the wor woods one time while camping and my mom thought I was just making a joke out of it until I showed up with the cops. If you want to hear that story, comment down below and I'll tell you the story.